Welcome, to a new learning session. Knowledge, is money. Cash control and credit control. Principles, methods, and benefits. Cash and credit, are two modes of settlement, at the departure stage, of the guest cycle. Both involve, an element of risk. Control is a function of the management. Manager has five functions, planning, organizing, staffing, leading, directing and motivating, evaluating and controlling. Organization control. Clear organization chart. Clear responsibilities, through job description, for each post. Constant supervision, to prevent shortcuts. Physical and technological security measures. Clear-cut procedures. Regular training. Continuous updating of procedures. Cash control, introduction. Cash is a company's most liquid asset, which means it can easily be used to acquire other assets, buy services, or satisfy obligations. For financial reporting purposes, cash includes currency and coin on hand, money orders, and checks, made payable to the company, and available balances in checking and savings accounts. Why cash control? To calculate the total amount of incoming cash. To calculate the amount of outgoing cash. To estimate the amount of cash available for business, at any particular point in time, cash flow. To safeguard liquid assets. Cash control. Define fraud, and internal control, principles of internal control, cash receipts, or incoming cash, cash disbursements, or outgoing cash, bank reconciliation statement, recording and reporting of cash, cash management, safe storage and transfer. Cash, is most vulnerable to fraud. Fraud Dishonest act by an employee, that results in personal benefit to the employee, at the cost of the employer, company or organization. Factors, that encourage frauds. Opportunity. Financial pressure. Rationalization, or justification. Internal control, legal aspect. All organizations must have an internal control system, and regular independent external audit. Government sends its own group of auditors, to all organizations, for verification of accounting records, and tax liability assessment. Not just employees, even the owners of limited liability company themselves, could encourage fraud, for personal benefits and later on, declare themselves bankrupt. That is cheating the small shareholders. For example, Satyam Computers Scam. All employees must take precautions, and not get involved, in financial irregularities. Benefits of Internal Control Safeguard Assets Accurate and Reliable Accounting Records Increased Efficiency Protection from Legal Trouble Boosts Morale of Honest Employees Elements of internal control. Controlling work environment, responsibly. Evaluation of risk factors. Apply control activities, including technological control system. Establish secure information and communication system. Constant monitoring of the system. Principles, of internal control. Establish responsibility, only one person will perform an accounting task at a time. For example, one shift, one cashier. Segregation of duties, in an accounting process, related steps must be performed by separate employees. For example, cashier and night auditor must be different. Documentation, all financial documents must be pre-numbered, responsibility assigned to one person, and that person becomes responsible for every numbered document. For example, one KOT book, one waiter made responsible. 
Every transaction must be recorded. Every step, in a transaction, must be recorded by a different person, on a separate document. KOT data is recorded in a bill, or check, voucher. Audit trail is established, through cross-referencing of documents. Cross-reference means, entering the number of KOT on bill, and vice versa. Physical control measures. Safe vaults, safety deposit lockers, lock stores, locked inventory cabinets, password enabled access to computer, fingerprint scanner, iris scanner, CCTV, sensors. Clothing sensors, in shopping malls, are placed on garments, using special prongs, that are designed to avoid damaging the fabric. They are also designed to be difficult to remove, without the proper tool, or without damaging the garment. Physical Control Measures, Part 2 Cash Counting Machine, Fake Note Detector, Time Office Punching Machine, Alarms, for Break-Ins, or Alert Under the Table, Hold Up, Panic Alarm, to Alert Police Safety Vaults Locked Cabinets Lock stores. Biometric or fingerprint scanner. Iris or retina scanner. Currency counting machine. Safety measures. Lock and key. Locked cash register drawers. Fake note detector. Cash van. Biometric time and attendance system. Time attendance system is used to record the in and out time of an employee. Independent internal verification. Night auditor fulfills this responsibility of verifying all financial records, in a hotel. However, night auditor should only point out the mistakes, not do the corrections. Segregation of Responsibilities Principle Human Resource, Internal Control All employees with access to large amount of cash or valuables, must sign a bond, legal agreement, with the hotel. Employee Shift Time Work area must be rotated regularly. Compulsory weekly off days, and annual vacations, for staff handling financial work. Compulsory police verification, before hiring staff for sensitive positions. Background check, or police verification, identity cards and name tags for employees, can reduce some risks. Causes of frauds Misuse of position and authority Non-separation of important duties Collusion between two responsible employees Exploiting loopholes in the system, by experienced staff Misuse of access to privileged information Unsupervised employees Unclear organizational hierarchy, where two employees report to each other no boss. Hierarchy hodgepodge. Limitations of internal control system. Cost of control cannot exceed the benefit of control. Human beings always make errors, unknowingly. Size of business could also make control difficult. Small companies are more susceptible to fraud. Cash receipt, incoming, control. 
only one person at a cash counter. Lock cash drawers. Use cash voucher for every cash receipt. Separate employee at each duties. Receive, record, hold, deposit, bank reconciliation statement. Document integrity in audit trail. Attach different records, from different positions and departments, then reconcile, match them. Cross-reference, archive, safely store, all financial records, for future claims and disputes. Deposit all incoming cash, to head cashier office. Don't keep large sums in cash drawer, for long time. Cash receipt, incoming, control. Match the cashier's summary with cash book for omission and commission errors. Rotate the driver and security guard of cash van. Bank is safer than hotel for storing cash. Front office, cashier summary. Cash disbursement, outgoing, control. Never take money from incoming cash drawer. Keep the two trails separate. Withdraw from bank and then pay petty cash amounts. Use VPO for all payments, made on behalf of a guest. Pay through account payee checks, for larger amounts. Fill the check summary of checkbook. Obtain payee's signature on payment voucher. Match the cash book and checkbook entries, with bank passbook statement. Bank statement shows, both deposits and withdrawal. Example of bank reconciliation statement. Reconcile means, to sort out the differences. Literally here. Reconciliation statement. Credit control. Why hotel sells on credit? Hotel rooms are perishable. If not sold today, the revenue is lost forever. To balance this risk, hotels accept booking for rooms and banquets without asking for upfront payment. New hotels have to offer liberal credit to attract first time guests. In high competition situation, Hotels may offer credit to please the guest. During off-season, the hotels are under extra pressure, to arrange working capital. Credit purchase, charge privilege. Credit, a facility, given by a hotel, to a guest, resident and non-resident, to buy goods and services, many times, on a charge account, and pay once, in a lump sum, later. Resident guests pay at departure. Some resident guests settle through credit mode, and hotel receives payment after checkout. Credit card, BTC, TA voucher, MAO, PSO. Non-resident guests pay, once in 30 days.
Why charge, credit, purchase is allowed by hotels? Convenience of guests. Reduce workload of processing payments, for a large number of transactions. Market growth. Recognition, for regular customers. Why credit control? To balance credit facility and working capital need, of the hotel. Hotel guest bills, on charge purchases can, quickly reach up to lakhs of rupees. Any negligence or delay and the hotel will lose revenue, that would be difficult to recover. Skippers and walkouts. Guests also tend to challenge entries in their bill, after checking out of the hotel, and that is embarrassing, and damaging to goodwill of hotel. After checkout, guests are difficult to handle. Charge privileges only for genuine guests, approved by credit control manager. Credit control team. Chief accountant, hotel financial controller, credit manager, secretary, credit assistants. Role of credit control department. Make a credit policy draft. Investigate the financial standing of the guest. Set a credit limit for every account, depending upon type of reservation, and mode of payment. Monitor credit accounts constantly, for unusual accumulation of credit. Get full payment, on time. Try to recover payments, in case of any delay. Who is allowed credit privilege? Guests with guaranteed reservation. Bill to company, executives, guests paying through credit, and charge cards. Non-guaranteed guests, scanty baggage, and guests paying through cash mode, are never allowed credit. Instead, they are asked for prepayment. Objectives of credit control measures. Prevent skippers and walkouts. Prevent delay in settlement of accounts. Prevent guest dissatisfaction. Convey which credit cards and foreign currencies are not accepted at check in, not at check out. Inform guests before they exceed their credit card floor limit. When does credit control fail? When guests and staff are not given clear instructions. When staff do not communicate on time and enough. Failure to follow procedures, to save time, or to please the guest, like not checking the blacklist of past skippers, and walkouts, the credit card authorization from bank, proof of guest identity, taking a picture etc. Methods of credit control. Establish house limit at check-in, for each account. PMS makes this quite simple. High balance report to identify risky account, daily. Night audit report, ask for part payment to guests, near, or over house limit. Put on no post status in PMS, till they pay. In serious matters, hotel may try lock out, double lock the room, with luggage inside. Upon payment, release no post status. Guest identity verification at POS, before allowing credit. All vouchers must be signed by guest. Onus to prove genuineness of bill to company, travel agent voucher, credit card, meals and accommodation order, passenger service order, lies with the bona fide guest. Methods of credit control too. Keep scanty baggage and walk-in guests, on APC, all payments in cash basis. Bellboy to report, light or low quality baggage. Mark on GRC as scanty baggage. Inform all outlets. Check credit card for expiration, floor limit, and ownership. Obtain bank authorization, and guest signature. Do not accept, third-party credit cards. Methods of credit control 3. Follow luggage out pass system at departure. Ask for recent charges at departure, to prevent any late charges. After departure, 
shift all unsettled accounts to City Ledger, handled by Accounts Department. Follow Standard Operating Procedures, SOP, every time. Scanty baggage guests may only carry a handbag or low quality bags. Some may stuff their bags with useless things. To fool the hotel staff, skippers may leave a few less expensive items, or toothbrush, bathroom slippers, etc., lying in the bathroom or room closet. Methods of credit control for Train roommates to report walkouts to avoid sleeper room situation. Skippers leave a few items to fool the hotel that they are still staying. Room service and banquets to report unusually large quantities of F&B orders. Skippers tip very generously, too big an amount, and recipient employee must report to controller. Ask for weekly settlement from all long-stay guests. Communicate the hotel credit policy at reservation, check-in, and display in the hotel rooms. Very large amount of tips may be a sign of a potential guest skip. A very large order could be a sign of a possible skipper as well. When default happens, up to 30 days, hotel can wait. Current, after 30 days, make a telephone call. Due for payment, after 45 days, write a letter, demanding immediate payment. Overdue, after 60 days, write a strongly worded letter, possibly threatening with legal action. Delinquent, after 90 days, proceed with legal action. The account may have to be marked as bad debt after 90 days. Risk can never be eliminated. But, it can definitely be reduced. It is better to be safe, than, to be sorry. Compilation, and Presentation Praveen Jot, Senior Faculty, IHM Hajipur, Vaishali, Bihar